Welcome, everybody. My name is Welcome back to another video. And today, guys, today we're going to do agricultural production regions. We're going to get into a little bit about agricultural, agri agricultural production, uh, the regions they're growing, uh, that they're grown in, what they use in these certain regions, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into this. So, agricultural production regions are defined by which the extent they reflect subsistence or commercial practices. So, subsistence farming usually is for feeding the farmer or their family, and such or their family, and commercial farming is for usually for a profit. They're going to see a high surplus of goods, unlike subsistence farming. I have more uh, stuff on this in another video. And these regions are defined by the extent that they practice these two types of farming. Now, I have some pictures here on the screen. I want you to identify whether they're commercial or subsistence. Take your time. Uh, pause the video for more time if you wish. All right, let's get into this first image. So the one at the very top. This is commercial farming. We see mechanization. We see use of pesticides. We see a good amount of land, actually. These are all characteristics of commercial farming. We don't see uh, much people here uh, that are doing labor. So we don't see, you know, a family or one person. Uh, yeah, as well. So those are all characteristics of commercial farming. Now, what about uh, picture two? Well, that's going to be subsistence farming. We see labor right here. This person's actually carrying their child with them, maybe because they can't afford a babysitter or the other parent is working maybe on the farm. Uh, we don't see much actual farmland. We see uh, a little bit of stuff growing around here, but, you know, not too crazy on the amount of farmland and you can tell by this this is probably an ldc we're going to see more commercial farming in our mdcs and then the third image we see uh is an also an example of subsistence farming we see uh labor here not really much mechanization yes we see a decent amount of land however uh i don't actually see many crops around here we see livestock uh but however uh we don't see many uh, what's it called? Characteristics of commercial farming. So yeah, that was a really good practice. Farming jobs. So what you see on the screen is the areas of the world with the most farming jobs. So uh, people, uh, no, sorry, farmers per like population or something. So we see here, Southern Asia has the most, and uh, Eastern Africa kind of comes in a close second. <laughs> uh, if you look up cartogram, you can probably find this map as well. And then the skinnier, the shrunk countries are the ones with uh, less farmers per their population. Now, take a minute to guess uh, what this map would look like if it was by mechanization on farms. Well, I'm not, I don't have a map of mechanizations of farms. However, the tinier, skinnier countries use the most mechanization. Why? Because these are our more developed countries. They are able to afford innovations and mechanics and technology and use less labor. The more labor is going to be in our LDCs, more labor means more people working on the farms, and as we can see, more people are working on the farms, the bigger the state is going to be. As you can see on this map, I mean, India just looks huge. Oh my gosh. Even if that is India. Wow, what a huge country. <laughs> yeah, that's India. There's that country with the civil war that happened right there below them. So yeah, that's farming for you. Now, something else you should know is intensive and extensive farming. We've kind of talked about this already. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with that in a, a different video. Uh, but let's get into some stuff right here. So intensive farming, some characteristics of it is... There's higher yields, you're getting more crops. There's more labor to create higher yields. There's higher finance to pay for the labor. There's smaller amounts of land, and there's the use of chemicals, of pesticides, fertilizers, insecticides, all of that stuff like make your uh, blueberries triple the amount of uh, the ties they should be. Uh, so yeah, chemicals. And then, of course, there's close to markets for intensive farming. They're going to be farming close to maybe the where people are buying their stuff, the cities, all of that. Now let's get into extensive farming practices. So the characteristics of this, kind of the opposite of intensive, is lower yields, less uh, crops being grown, less surplus, less labor to have less yields, lower finance, can't afford the labor, create uh, the yields, larger amounts of land. I know this sounds like a surprise, however, it's like that. I don't know why. 
Use of land cultivation. Uh-huh. That's why we have larger amounts of land, because they're going to be cultivating land at different times to allow a uh, fertilizer to get their fertility back. Uh, so they're going to have large amounts of land, but use only portions of it per season. And of course, they're going to be remote. They're going to be farther from the market. Closer to the market, they're going to have smaller amounts of land. Makes sense. If you're remote, you can have a larger, larger amount of land. So yeah, that's intensive and extensive farming. Good characteristics to know. Now, if you want to learn more about this, watch my introduction to agricultural video. It starts at 1955, where we get into kind of the stuff we talked about in this video. There's going to be a card above this video. Uh, click on that I in the top right corner to watch that. I really recommend it. And that's the end of this video. Uh, go watch that intro to agricultural video I did about this unit. Uh, there's a scale check on the screen. Complete it. It'll help you. It's an FRQ. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. It really does help me out, and it's free. Like the video. Leave a comment with your criticism. I love criticism. Uh, join my Discord server to teach other people new things or to learn new things yourself. I got nothing else for y'all, so adios.